everybody, and welcome to another edition of ApostolicSundaySchool.com Quarantine Edition. Yup, we're going on, I believe, day 10. Day 10 of this stuff, and I'm so out of it, I even like do like daily videos with my earpiece in my ear, because I listen to a lot of stories, you know? When there's not much else to do, you listen to stories, and you do Sunday School. So, today I'm going to do a lesson for you, but before that, I have another object lesson that was sent to me by someone that wanted to do an object lesson for us. So, without further ado, let's give them a big hand, everybody. Yay! You guys are awesome! In the Bible, in 1 John 1, 7, it says, If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. This water represents you and me. This pepper represents all the sin. This dish soap represents God. When I put God in the sin, all the pepper is away. That was really, really good. Thank you so much for sending that to us. So, if you want to send them to us again, send it to info at apostolicsundayschool.com or just uh, post it on YouTube. You can do it straight from your phone and send me the link and then I can get it. You can also do it through Instagram, but it makes it a little hard for me to get the video off, but I can do it if I have to. So, I hope you've learned a lot about Jesus through, through these daily devotions. I know a lot of you have been in Sunday school in an apostolic homes for all of your lives. So you know most of this. But it never hurts to be reminded. They say that repetition is the mother of teaching. And so that's what we're doing today. Now, I'm going to tell you a simple lesson. I'm not going to set anything on fire. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to teach you using this very simple piece of paper. I'm going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a man. And he wanted to be happy, just like me and just like you. Everybody wants to be happy, right? Well, this man, he thought that he could be happy by just getting a lot, a lot of money. You know, at one time or another, a lot of us have probably thought some variation of that. We probably thought, you know what, I could sure be happier or more happy if I had a lot of money. And you know what, money does help you buy things, but it doesn't help you buy happiness. But this man didn't know that. And so he worked, and 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 he worked. And in the process, he forgot about his family, he forgot about his wife, forgot about his kids, and concentrated only on work and making money. In the process, he lost his family. His wife left him, and his kids, well, they didn't even know who their dad was hardly anymore because he wasn't there for them, because all he cared about is money. Well, he grew older, and he finally reached the point where he had all the money he could spend. He didn't just have a little bit of money. He had a lot of money. You see, he was ultra successful. He built a company, and he made lots and lots of money, and he finally, finally had it! And he was finally... Now, hold on. I need you guys to help me here, because this isn't a one-way conversation. Let's do it two ways. So when I say he was finally happy, I need you guys, wherever you're at, to yell back at me for a while. So we'll practice that. He was finally happy for a while. That's right. I'm going to need you throughout this whole thing. Make sure you do it nice and loud. All right. So this man, he worked and worked, got lots of money, and he was finally happy. That's right. Only for a while. Because Money will never make you happy, but he sure thought it would. And so he, he's thinking, man, well, I, I got all this money, but yet I don't have happiness. I still feel like there's a piece in me that's missing. There's something wrong. And so he thought, oh, I just need to spend my money on things. And so you know what he did? He built himself, with all that money, he built himself a sailboat. 
Not any sailboat, but a really nice, beautiful yacht. And he sailed that boat all across the mighty oceans of the earth. And he traveled to places that no one had ever been to before. Well, only the ultra-rich. And he traveled and traveled, and he was finally happy. Yeah, you're right. Only for a while, though. You see, the boat didn't bring him happiness. It did for a little bit, or at least he thought it did. It brought some satisfaction. It bought him some, some days of pleasure, but it didn't bring him true happiness. And he knew, ah, there's still something missing. I know. I know. He had a great idea. He said, I'm going to spend my money on a huge, huge house. That's what I'm going to spend it on. And boy, did he ever do it. He had lots of money. And so he built a beautiful house. I mean, this thing had 37 bedrooms. <laughs> it had 13 bathrooms. It had two swimming pools, one indoor, one outdoor. I mean, this house was bad to the bone. And he was finally happy. How'd you know? You're right. It was only for a while. Because big houses won't give you happiness. And again, he knew, oh, there's something missing. There's something more to life than this. And then he got it. He realized it is actually excitement and fun that I'm missing. And so he spent a big chunk of his money on a massive plane, on an airplane. Yep, this plane was so big and so incredible that it made Donald Trump's big plane look like a little tiny little jet. And so he built this mighty plane and he sailed this plane all around the world. He didn't just go exciting places. He went to exciting places really fast. And he got there and he did all kinds of fun stuff. And guys, he did it. He was finally happy. Yeah, you're right. Only for a short time. And that's when he realized, this isn't it. There's still something missing. I don't know what it is. And he began to, to realize, I, I don't know that I'll ever get happy. Until he had his big brainstorm. He had that big moment when he thought, this is it. And so he built, guys, you're not going to believe this. He actually built a spaceship. I know, a rocket ship. Because he thought, if I can't find pleasure here on Earth, I'm going to find it elsewhere. And so he built a rocket ship, and he decided that he was going to fly into space. And he was going to be one of those special few people that went somewhere that no one had ever gone before. He went into the wild blue yonder. Actually, I guess it's more than blue. It's probably a little dark up there. Anyway, he flew. And he flew that rocket ship. And he was right outside of the Earth's atmosphere, outside of the, the, the things of home and with everybody on the Earth looking at him and people were giving him all kinds of attention because when you do something crazy and wild, people are like, dude, this guy's cool. And he flew up into space and he was finally happy. You guys are too good. You're right. He was finally happy, but only for a while because he found that boats and houses and planes and even rocket ships will never give you true, complete happiness. And so this man, he basically gave up. He went back to his big house and he went in there with the intention of I'm not coming out again because I, I'll never be happy. I've lost my family, I've lost my kids. All I have is money. And the one thing I wanted was happiness, and I don't have it. So he began to sit there, and for the first time in his life, he began to reach out to someone that he had never reached to before. He began to pray and say, Jesus, I know there's more to life than this. Jesus, I know there's more to life than money and the things money can buy. But I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. And just like in the story we told with the star, he heard a knock on his door. Someone was praying that day. And someone went out on outreach with a desire to find a hungry home, to find someone that was looking for answers. And that day, 
he knocked on his door and he opened the door. And, and there was someone, maybe it was from your church. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was you that knocked on this man's door and said, I have an answer for you. For you. I have an answer for you. God has something for you. And you can be completely and truly happy. Well, this man, he didn't know who these people were, but he said, you know, I've tried everything else. I'm going to give Jesus a try. And that day, for the first time ever, he went to an apostolic church. He went down to an apostolic altar, and he lifted his hands, and he repented of all of his sins, and he told Jesus, I'm sorry. And Jesus filled him with the gift of the Holy Ghost, and he began to speak in a language that he had never known before. And that night, he was baptized in Jesus' name, and every sin that he had committed was washed away. Now, that's not beautiful. I don't know what is. And for the first time, I'm not going to have you say for a while this time. Because this time, that emptiness was filled. This time, the void, the peace that he was missing, it all came home. When Jesus came and lived inside of him, he finally had true happiness. And that can happen for us today. You see, this man looked in all the wrong places. He looked at money. He looked at boats and planes and houses and rocket ships. When really... The true answer was there the whole time. True happiness is just one prayer away. And it's always found at the foot of the cross. Jesus loves you so much. And only in Him are we complete. Only in Him do we have true happiness. In Jesus' name.